mkulima mwenye ndio huyu i think at a general use then we do what we came to do karibu okay. sana asante eh utatuambia majina okay. alafu tuambie unafanya nini tukiendelea na story okay mm. majina yangu naitwa Isaac Mieho eh mimi mkulima wa sana sana nyanya ukichukua hata namba yangu mm. we save kama we nini eh you are my new client utapata true call na kuambia eh Isaac kiminini farmer mm-hmm. tomato mm-hmm. eh nyanya na watu wengi wananijua mm. kwa kutumia Isaac wa nyanya Isaac wa nyanya eh, mwenyewe eh ndio hivyo sasa sawa sasa mtu akiuliza Isaac wa nyama Isaac wa nyanya Isaac mwenyewe ni nani eh uh, yeah. tu story yako kidogo <laughs> ndio sasa tufike uh-huh. kuingia kwa ukulima okay mimi Isaac mwenyewe professionally yeah, yeah. kazi yake ni ICT. Mm-hmm. Uh, na hiyo ni according to academic but what I do most I love farming. Mm-hmm. Uh, Isaac Wanyanya anapenda ku interact na watu sokoni mm-hmm. most of the time. Mm-hmm. Sasa ndio nipate hiyo kibali lazima nijihusishe na ukulima ndio nipate watu wa sokoni sasa nataka nikurudishe pale nyuma kidogo mm-hmm. ndio ufike kwa jama wa ICT mm-hmm. umesomea wapi ndio kafika hapo eh <laughs> college primary secondary <laughs> mpaka college mpaka college <laughs> oh primary <laughs> primary nimesomea kuna shule inaitwa Mwamba primary school mm-hmm. iko side za Rugali mm-hmm. Rugali Kakamega Kakamega mm-hmm. sasa after hapo tukaenda nikasomea high school tu bado wasingishu tarbu ni jirani ya Kakamega ni uh, jirani ya Kakamega tarbu high school ama shule tarbu ile kuna shule inaitwa Foresto Foresto secondary school uh-huh. eh, iko hapo kwa junction uh-huh. almost kati, almost kwa mpaka wa lugari na wasingishu uh-huh. eh, alafu college nikasomea Loret Poli ukapata nini <laughs> okay siko anguka mimi si <laughs> nilipita eh na najua nilipita nilipata C+ hiyo C+ ulipita ni grade nzuri eh hiyo ilikuwa nzuri hata hiyo inaonyesha uko na sumbua shule na nilikuwa msumbufu nilikuwa msumbufu juu hata wakati plan plan nilikuwa naenda nyumbani eh juu ya kukosa alafu baadaye nika baadaye sasa after kumaliza shule mm. nilikuja tulihamia hapa kiminini kiminini ndio ni 20 2013 ndio tulikuja hapa mm. 2014 mm. siku kwa around 2015 ndio mimi nikakuja mm. eh sasa venye nilikuja mm. toka mimi nilikuwa na Kyle Dorrit sasa venye nilikuja ndio nikaanza na sukuma ndogo ndogo sasa ndore tulikuwa shule ah ah si kwa nime ama kwa me join eh hiyo period hiyo si ku join immediately kwa natafuta pesa eh si ku join immediately <laughs> so nikakuja nikaanza kupanda kwa tu kidogo kidogo sukuma nilipanda somewhere here mm. na ikakuwa mzuri mm. kwaona inasaidia familia hiyo mm. eh, wakati mm-hmm. eh, hiyo ni baada ya imetoka sasa unaona ah, shamba iko tu acha tufanye acha tufanye kitu eh, acha tufanye mm. sasa baadaye nikavuka vuka kwa kuku mm-hmm. kwaona pia kuku si mbaya eh, mm-hmm. lakini kwa na changamoto nyingi mm. sasa nikaanza tena nikikuwa sasa baada ya hapo mm. baada ya muda kiasi mm-hmm. nikaona acha niende sasa shule hiyo mm. eh, ni 2017 mm-hmm. ka join Eldoret Poly mm. eh, hapo sasa ndio nikamani nikamaliza kwa kufanya ICT nafanya IT nikwaje kwa kawaida kila kitu kwa mwanaume ni rais si kila wanamwona nanga kila kitu kwa wanaume ni rais si kila mwanaume ana nanga hivi tu ni rais kwanza nasikia IT kwa na hesabu mimi ah bado mko mejipanga na hesabu asidani hesabu programming haina story na hesabu eh lakini hesabu kila mahali kuanga eh hesabu ijaikosa kila pahali okay sasa uko graduate ndini uko graduate hiyo wakati gani kumbe 2022 2022 ha ni graduate 2021 hiyo mwezi wa 11 11 ndio kama mtiani mwezi wa 8 uko graduate sasa 
Sasa nini kakuleta kwa ukulima? Badala ya kwenda kutafuta kazi ya IT. Okay. Eh. Ukulima bana ni naona ngi kona. Naona ngi kwa mimi, kwa maoni yangu, kwa akili zangu. Iko na pesa. Ya yeah, IT na sikia iko na pesa mzuri. ICT yeah. iko na pesa pia. Yeah. Na zote nazifanya. Ama kazi ya kupata ile kwa ngumu. Pana. Mm-hmm. Kazi mungu, ya tafuta. Mungu anasaidia. Yeah. Juu hata baada ya kumaliza shule. Mm-hmm. Nikikuwa nafanya ukulima mm-hmm. ndio baadaye nikapata kibarua hapa hivi kwa SD Sub County Director Office. Mm-hmm. Eh, Kimini. Kiminini. Sasa unafanya hapo kazi. Sasa nafanya hapo shughuli. Mm-hmm. Eh, Nimeandikwa na gava ama ni government imetupatia it's a contract ni internship. Mm-hmm. Eh, one year itakuwa ina end. Mm-hmm. Na we thank God for the opportunity also. Mm-hmm. Ju imeniwezesha kupata hiyo capital ya kufacilitate projects zangu. Mm-hmm. Eh, imenisaidia mambo makubwa. Tumekutana kwa hiyo ofisi kweli. Ofisi ya ICD. Mm-hmm. Siju kama umeniona huko juu mimi huwa nakutana na watu wengi. Mimi nimeingia kwa hiyo ofisi kwa rabiki. Eh, hujaniona mm-hmm. mimi mtu wa Mandeva kutoka kwa kwa kama umeniona <laughs> juu <kwa> ofisi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> naweza kuwa nimekuona but lakini naweza kuwa sija kujua kwa sababu hiyo mm-hmm kana na walimu unajua hata siko nimezoea yangu walimu mm. lakini sasa venye nimekaa nao walimu wa primary most of the time ndio na wajua most of them ndio ah, kuja kuja sana sana lakini wa high school hawaonekani ah, yeah. sisi tunaona kamanga mara moja kwa tano oh hasa wewe ni high school wewe sasa kwa high school ni kwa trick yeah. ni sawa sasa tukuje kwa ukulima sasa yeah. ulianzia nini ukafika wapi na sasa uko wapi Kulima nimefanya fanya mm. imekuwa kama try and error mm-hmm. eh, kujaribu nini waone inafanyika mm. eh, nimefanya kwa muda sasa kabla nimalize shule nikiwa shuleni nilikuwa nafanya kulima wa kuku mm-hmm. eh, lakini sasa vinye nilikuwa huko kukawa na challenge mm-hmm. kwa na challenge ya kuzikip kwa sababu hizo zinahitaji chakula zinahitaji uziangalie na tayari uko shule shuleni ikakuwa sasa haizikani zikapotea potea eh, juu hakuna chakula inabidi zifunguliwe zitembee mm. nikaachana nayo nikauza zenye zilibakia mm. nikaona acha nifanye kitu kingine kukaa na mtu alikuwa anga napanda shamba kwa kwaisha alikuwa anapanda kwa shamba kabla ya sisi mm. akakuwa ananiambia anga huko chini umekanyanya huko chini umekanyanya mm-hmm. but sasa mimi sikuwa in, kuwa interested mm-hmm. nilikuwa naona ah, sijaifanya hiyo nikafanya watermelon mm-hmm. Watermelon ni haikuwa mbaya mm. lakini sasa sikuwa na market. Nilipanda kiasi hapa hivi mm. na ikanipatia pesa. Juu niliuza tu local. Mm-hmm. Nika kwa motivated. Nilikuwa na oh unaweza panda na upate kitu. Mm-hmm. Sasa nika kwa motivated nikasema mm-hmm. sasa nitapanda nyanya hiyo watermelon na nyanya nilikuwa mm-hmm. naambiwa. Mm-hmm. Zote nikazipanda. Yo sasa nilikuwa nazipanda. Hii portion yote. Eh, nilipanda hivi nyanya alafu the other side watermelon. Mm-hmm kafika huko juu. Mhm. Sasa wakati wa kuendelea endelea hiyo madawa ni nini nini nikaona mm. yenye ilikuwa inavutia zaidi ni nyanya. Eh? Mm-hmm. Sasa nikaona ule mzee kulingana na changamoto yeye alikuwa ananiambia panda nyanya mm. kulingana venye alikuwa ananiambia changamoto yake ilikuwa mzuri. Mm. Nikaona sasa itabidi nimepanda nini? Mm. Nime focus kwa nyanya. Mm. Na plus nyanya ilikuwa na hiyo inataka attention. Mm. Wanakuambia nyanya ni kama mtoto na kwa kujiangalia angalie venye imelala venye imeamu venye imeamuka so nika manage hiyo ilikuwa mwezi wa 8 hadi mwezi wa December ah February ilikuwa na harvest na it paid back mm. uh, na it was my first time the highest amount the highest amount it was only a half a point mm. but it qualifies to give me 50000 50000 eh it was only a half a point it was somewhere there uh, like it was a point i think but it managed to give me 50000 i was very much into that so i can be as i iso it's time to hold on to the horse more hold on the horse kutupa it kando sasa nika ah sit through away it it you chup by the way by the way it nimefanya sana imechangia sana IT unajua without computer hata you will find that you are doing nothing. So imeni 
Pere Kapaka, I have my own machine. You may buy my laptop. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's new. <laughs> yeah, brand new, right? It's expensive. It's a workstation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm cool, I'm good. Because of this family. So <laughs> That's why you do a workstation. Yeah, workstation. Even at your workstation. Imagine this. I have now my workstation. I only need a chair and a table. Mm-hmm. As I mean, I'm not going like away in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Self-employed. Self-employed. Let's talk it now. Kwa nyumba. Yeah. From then, say you can't. So say it. Ukiangalia. 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 Hii <laughs> Kabisa <laughs> 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 Sasa management practices management practices kama kawaida shamba lazima away from diseases sasa kuna fungicides za keep cabbage away from diseases hizo zinaitwa hizo from blights and sort of stuff umeona alafu kuna insecticides pia tunazotumia hapo challenges zenye unapitia challenges ni obvious kuna hii challenge common kosa pesa sometimes unataka dawa lakini pesa hauna hiyo ni one of the biggest challenge alafu another thing ni maji sometimes unakosa pesa unajua hii mafuta imeenda juu. So hii mvua si ya kila siku. Eh leo iko kesho hakuna. Kama some past some two weeks ago mvua haijakuwa. Sasa unataka ni irrigation. Unataka maji na hasa hapo inakupata challenge. Eh you don't have the money for the fuel. Sasa the biggest challenge is money, but we can do so much if we have just it. Na sasa venye umepanda hivi wao inakuwa affected na magonjwa sana sana ama once una spray kwa sawa hadi mwisho. Ah, hii lazima we keep in check weekly. Mm, at least unaingia periodic table period table time table yake. Mm. Eh na inafaa iko periodic iko regular. Mm-hmm. Ni kama ni Saturday ama kama ni Monday mm. unazipiga dawa. At least ita madudu. Unajua cabbage na madudu. Mm. Eh, mostly cabbage ni madudu na isumbo ni siblings ngapi umepanda hapa sasa hapa nimepanda 1600 mm. eh, sasa hiyo on, on harvest mm. how much are you expecting back the little i expect mm. uh, uh, let's say i'll be selling each cabbage at 20 bob mm. so 32000 no at 30k 30k hiyo ni pesa nzuri kuamkia sasa kuhusu nani sasa nani Nimepanda this is the third time nimepanda it is many it is much motivating na mm-hmm. motivating sana kwa nini eh because 
in as much as ijani lipa venye to my expectation mm. uh, it is it, it is like promising it like it it it, it promises ukiangalia venye inakuja it gives you a hope umeona mm. yes nyanya ni kitu inakupea matumaini eh ukiangalia ina eh, kuna nyanya ni mayapanda previously inaitwa nyati f1 na it did well until then malili affect you on a blight eh, but sasa in queen and encouraging like ukiangalia unaona your future it's already bright kabla hata uja harvest so because of that i always give things second chances because before i quit it's not just good to quit sasa nikasema acha tena nipa nipa eh, so size tena we are doing tomorrow sasa hapo kuna seedling ngapi hapa tuko na roughly 500 seedlings Uh, roughly 500 seedlings na i'm sure with the good management and the little experience i have mm-hmm. we expect something out of it mm-hmm. uh, tutapata kitu sasa ni mwezi wangapi una expect to harvest eh nimemaliza mm-hmm. some 3 weeks kwa bed mm-hmm. na hapa kwa shamba nimemaliza another 3 weeks sasa tuna hiyo ni a total of 1 month and 2 weeks so tuna expect to 75 days mm-hmm. from ikitoka kwa bed mm-hmm. uh, to ikikaa kwa shamba yani kwa ikitoka kwa bed sasa tuna account day one as from that day paka 75 day coach metu to and a half months months mm-hmm. tutakuwa tumeanza kuweka matunda mm-hmm. alafu sasa after hapo tuta the next one month or two tutakuwa tuna harvest tutakuwa deep in harvest mm-hmm. sasa watu waanze kukuja mwezi wa ngapi from now kwa Kiswahili 07 07 60 82 44 nane mbili nne nne kiswahili ni ngumu eh kiswahili ngumu sasa tukikuja kwa challenge za kupanda nyanya ni gani ambazo unapitia nyanya nyanya ndio iko na the highest the biggest challenge iko na nyanya ndio iko na ugumu ugumu mkubwa eh kuna ugumu kabisa ikiwa ndogo hadi wakati unaileta kwa shamba haina shida mingi kwa hiyo wakati Eh, kwa sababu tena kupua wako wake ni haraka haraka. Eh, kwa hiyo wakati haina ugumu mwingi pia kwa kumea kwake haina ugumu mwingi kama cabbage. Lakini baada ya hapo ikifika kwa shamba sasa hapo ndio tunaanzanga kuwa na ugumu wa eh, ugonjwa wa nyanya kuna kuanga na ugonjwa kadhaa zaidi ya tatu. Ni gani inakusumbua hapa hasa? Hasa hapa hivi ni inanisumbua ni late blight na hiyo ugonjwa ukuja kama matunda imewadia wakati wa, ma, wa mazao mazao hivi sasa ikifika hivi hiyo fama unashangaa maana utaanzia kwa sababu ulikuwa unatarajia kuanza kuvuna kumbe ndio unaanza kupiga dawa eh, ni kama hasa ndio unaanza kupiga dawa sasa pale inataka lot of attention inataka lot of care it's de- much delicate eh, na unapata pia nyanya yenyewe ina affectiwa ina retiaki kwa fikio iko very now how do you how do you prevent that to prevent that uh, like i've said with cabbage mm-hmm. this one pia has a schedule una unaiundia una timetable in fact this one eh yeah, timetable yake hata sasa si weekly you lower it to twice a week eh mm-hmm. uh, una too much close twice a week unajua it's expensive mm-hmm. madawa za nyanya na za cabbage they are far much more different. Ya nyanya ni very expensive. Utapata dawa moja ni shilingi kama the other time ni the more the expensive dawa for funky side. Mm-hmm. It was inaitwa infinito and it was 2200. Na yoli use na it was how much dawa it, it was like 40 ml. Mm. 40 ml it's roughly how many how many pumps? Uh, 5 pumps mm. kwa sababu we also measure 40 uh, nini we also measure uh, 10 ml 
you will only find that you know, seven to five, five to seven pumps na ita kwe meish ita kwe meish na utako mewa west 2200 yako mm. yeah. that's the end of your challenge pubu challenge na weather weather inasumbua ama weather yiko sawa weather about the weather mm. sasa nanya ita kumbua nini ya nina yende yende nina yinishia nishia it's a big time nina yinishia That's why it will consider December we plan. Uh, the reason on a on a ipanda December ni ya mtu at least kwa iko. Eh iko chini. Yeah. Tu li consider hiyo time ya kuipanda iko yeah. iko December. Yeah. Na ime happen that uh, El Nino iko. Sasa <laughs> tuna manage tu sasa na na yeah. dawa tu inabidi tu tuje dawa. Yeah. Eh juu wakati wa mvua inataka inataka dawa mingi sana. Nampatia tu list tu kwa kuna ende ni nomingi. Eh eh hiyo ndio kama yenye tunasikia hiyo ndio Mombasa na na Garissa. Eh kabisa. Hiyo namu wanatusaidia sana. Eh kuna naona mbolea unatumia hapa. Hii na yenye mbolea gani? Sasa hii ni mbolea ya ngombe. Eh hii ni mbolea ya ngombe tumeiweka mahali ka ikaoza vizuri. Sasa nimekuja kuiweka hapa hivi nisaidie kuipiga check. Mm. Eh, inafanya vizuri. Hii eh, hii kwa itasaidia na jua itasaidia sana mm. kwa sababu hata itasaidia mchanga ikuwe nzuri sana. Mm. itasaidia mchanga. Hiyo mchanga itakuwa sawa. Mm. Mm. Hii nakumbuka tukikuwa shule ilikuwa inaitwa farm yard man. Ba, sasa ndio hiyo. Kumbe hujasahau. tuajaribu isaidie hapa. Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa sababu hii mchanga hapa hivi huwa si nzuri sana. Mm. Na tukiangalia huko kwingine naona mm-hmm. soya beans. Yeye. <laughs> <laughs> Ina inafaa niongeze. Uongeze ingine. Haya sasa ndajaribu kupanda wakati nitoa mahindi. Mhm. Ai kulikuwa tumepanda nyanya iko mbili. Kulikuwa tumepanda nyanya. Sasa wakati tumetoa eh hiyo nyanya ipasiane kidai tuache kufanya kitu. Kuna kuna kitu naona hapa. Eh dania. Kwa sasa hii nafaa muone hii. Mhm. Ndio nasema inaitwa ni coriander. Eh, dania. Dania. Yeah. Sasa hii unajua hii wakati wa Disemba. Hii na inakuwa haraka sana. Mm. Ni ndogo hivi lakini some 2 3 weeks itakuwa isha free eh. Sasa tukujie lini? Hizi hizi kutokea leo siku wiki tuseme jana nini? Tarehe moja Hii mm. tutakuwa tunakula. Tarehe ready. moja eh. Naona nikipita huko nichukue chukue. Eh, hii tarehe moja mm. Usikose. Ni sasa hii ya shamba hii itakuwa bigal mm. sana. Wanyo wanapenda dania? Mjileta mm. hapa. Before January ready Mm. Na hii mbona tayari imeshaekata kwa kubakisha hii mwezi peke yake. Sababu tuna top. Ni kama unafanya mix farming unaona hapo kuna hapo. Ah hii ni ile nyenye. Kama mix hii inaitwa mixed farming ama mixed cropping. Ah hii 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 ni ile nyenye pakia tukaona tuacha tusiko tusitupe. Kwa hivyo ficha tu hapa lakini nafasi kupatikana tunaitumia kama nafasi Maharagwe na tukipanda huko juu naona kuna cabbage ni kona. Eh eh. Tukipata hapo pia tuangalie kidogo. Ya shamba. 
Chamba inanga kando. Sasa hapo kuna cabbage mom. Sasa hizi ni almost unaanza kuambia kitu kidogo. Hivi ni hizi bado tu ni hizo kiboko. Yes. Lakini sasa hizi ni zile za kwaboma. Sikose chakula. Eh sasa kulikuwa na mbegu kidogo ilikuwa imebaki kabla tutafute mbegu mingi. Sasa tukasema acha tuanzie hii kidogo ya kwaboma na ndio hizi zimefika hivi. Sasa hii inaitwa stage gani ya cabbage? Hii kwa kwa hiyo stage ya kufunga. Eh sijui jina yake kwa English but hii iko kwa ile stage ya kuifunga ya ku Mm. Sasa Isaac. Yes. Utatufungia na nini? Tuambie sasa kitu ya kufunga. Ukulima in general. Wewe oh, unaiona aje. Ninga na mimi. Mm. Ukulima ni kazi nzuri. Mm-hmm. Eh, you get your hands dirty at the end of the day you get something. <laughs> eh usiye. Eh hawezi kosa ukulima si disappointing sana. Mm. Eh, despite of challenges, mvua nini? Mm. Inashinda kukaa ngoja kazi na kuna mahali unaweza enda asubuhi kufanya kwa kitu ukishika jembe at the end of the day you get something mm-hmm. sasa mimi kaka kijana mm-hmm. naweza sema na kama naweza ndivyo jana wenzangu mm-hmm. eh kama uko na mahali unaweza fanya ukulima mm-hmm. eh uchukue hiyo hatua ufanye ukulima kwa sababu hautakosa kupata mm-hmm. siku na hautakuwa na wasiwasi mm-hmm. yati ndatoa wapi pesa ama ndenda wapi kazi kesho mm-hmm. utakuwa na mahali pa kuamkia mm-hmm. na wa, at the end of the day you get something. Mm. Yeah. So unaambia vijana wana randa randa wakisema hakuna kazi hakuna kazi. Eh wakuje waingie kwa shamba. Waingie kwa shamba walimu. Wafanye kitu. Eh yeah. watakosa kitu. Watakosa kitu. Kabisa kabisa. Mm. Sasa waambie waambie vizuri wasikie. <laughs> Sasa vijana eh mwasikia. Mimi si uko tofauti na nyinyi. Mimi ni sawa na nyinyi. Sina any big difference hata ukiniangalia. Na sina pesa, sina pesa mingi na sina pia kazi kubwa sana venye nilisema previously. Ni kazi ya kujishikilia baada ya muda itakuwa inaisha. Juu ni internship tu na hata internship si kazi, unalipwa stipend instead of salary. Mm-hmm. Eh sasa mimi naweza wa naweza wapatia tu wasaha. Naweza waambia kwa muda nyenye nimefanya ukulima, nimeweza kununua vitu zangu mwenyewe na naweza kujisimamia. Mm-hmm. Na imenipatia pia inanipatia assurance kesho sitakosa kitu na kesho sitakosa mahali pa kuamkia. Mm-hmm. Sasa nawaambia badala ya kutembea ukitafuta kazi na kuna shamba mahali nyumbani na unaweza na babako mamako akupatie mahali pa kulima. Chukua jukumu na uingie shambani. Utakuwa sawa baada ya wakati fulani. Na vijana wenye wanaogopa kwenda kwa shamba. Eh woga ni umaskini. <laughs> <laughs> Ukiogopa sasa yeah. eh, you are, umesha kufa you are dead person. Yeah. Eh, woga ni umaskini kama venye ulisikia. Mm-hmm. Na ukishinda umeogopa utabaki hivyo hautaongezeka mahali. Kwa sababu hata ukiniangalia mimi nilienda shule lakini bado nafanya ukuli. Lima. Lima. Eh niko na hiyo certificate but nafanya. Na una balance aje kazi na ukulima. Sasa kitu mzuri na ukulima haikuhitaji kila siku. Mm-hmm. Kwanza hiyo ndio the best thing ever. Unaweza kuwa hapa asubuhi na jioni urudi hapa. Na hiyo wakati mwingine unaweza enda ufanye ile shughuli yako ya kawaida. Kwa sababu ukiangalia hata kazi za kuandikwa ina kuhold hostage. Ni kama inakufungia. Inakufanya usifanye vitu zako vizuri. Eh. Sasa kazi zako za kujifanyia kwanza ndio nzuri sana kama hiyo kulima. Kulima juu. Ukipata pesa kidogo hata unaweza ka mtu akufanyie akufanyie wakati huo anafanya kitu nyingine. Hizo ndio ba, hizo ni baadhi ya vitu mimi ufanye. Kama nikipata hata shilingi 500 naweza mtu na kazi yangu inakuwa sawa. Mhm. Eh, kabisa kabisa jina si mbaya. Mimi naitwa Kenneth Dismiu. Brother yake udogo, mimi ndio mkubwa wake. Mhm. Mimi namsaidiaga kiasi kiasi kuhusiana na pamoja. Ah, mm. Mimi unafanya kazi gani nyingine away from family? Mimi ni dereva wa transist. Mm. Mm. But ile gari ni nilikuwa nayo ilipata accident sana niko tu mtaani size. Sasa hujapata gari. Hujapata gari nyingine. Sasa ukitoa gari utaenda mbio sana. Chap chap. Na mtu atakuwa na gari na anakutafuta atakupata aje. Eh sina Facebook sikia na kitu lakini sema tunaamba sema tunaamba sema tunaamba sema tunaamba unaweza kuwa kuna mwenye ako na gari anatafuta dere. Mm. Na wangu ni, ni 0707 
Hiyo ndiyo nambagu unaweza nitigia na hiyo. Hey, sasa kama mm. kuna transistor ama gari kubwa, mm. dere ndiyo huyu amepatikana hapa. Mm. Kuna kijana mwingine mdogo hapa. Sijui kama atasema jina ama anaogopa. Kuje kuje. Mtu ana sana wanaona. Aha. Wewe ni mjomba. Mhm. Wewe ni mjomba. Mjomba asonge karibu. Sema sisi ni wajomba. Sawa ni wajomba. So in na kujanga tu like to visit babu mm. but tunafanya kazi pia kwa shamba tunatembea Sasa huko ndo kwa babu. Huko ndo babu. Oh mama yake anatoka huko. Eh anatoka huko. Sasa ni kaga huko huko hivi ndo nyumbani. Unasoma wapi? Nasomea St Anthony eh niko form 2. Kwa form 2. Na una kama mdogo na kwa form 2. Uko form 2 ama unaenda form 2? Naenda 3. Sasa sema uko form 3. Na utamaliza shule mapema sana. Shule inakupeleka aje? Inapeleka vizuri. Mm. Kuna miaka ngapi? Miaka 15. 15. Kwani unaraukia shule mapema sana? Watu wanamalizanga na 25. Wewe unataka kumaliza mapema. Mm. Share your subject. Share your subject. Unafanya gani? Unafanya computer and physics. Mm. Unajua mimi ni mwalimu wa physics. Ah. Baya sana. Ah, ukicheza kiboko inaweza tena. Lakini uzuri hakunanga kiboko. Mm. Mm. Physics ina kupeleka je nasikia watu wanasema physics ni mpaya? Ah, physics physics tu ukifanya practice na uko karibu pia na walimu like uta utakusaidia. Na kem? Kem eh, kem the same. Ndio nasikia mbaya sana. <laughs> sema kitu, sema ah, kitu. Ah, kem kem. <laughs> Kem ni walimu tu hapo hivyo ni walimu na practice the same. Eh, na wewe mwenyewe unaonaje? Ni hivyo tu ndio unahitaji ndio. Eh, Wanafunzi wenyewe wanaongopa kemu unawaambia nini na physics? Wasiogope. Eh, eh. Wafanyaje? Wapatie ka advice, wapatie ka advice. Tafuta tu walimu, mm. eh unajua chemistry na physics max mingi inaoliwa kwa unapata ukifika Mbiza form 3. Ukifika form 3 hapo mm. unaona ni like unapata max ni za za hesabu sana. Mm-hmm. So ukika kwa pra, ukifanya tu practice mm-hmm. na hesabu nitaka practice. Mm-hmm. So uko pia vizuri kwa hesabu mm-hmm. na huku pia utapata tu mambo inaenda nyingi. Mm-hmm. Inaenda vizuri. Mkifunga ulikuwa namba ngapi? Uh, kwa class nilikuwa namba kwanza namba 3 26 out of Yoni Yoni class in stream ama class? Stream. Stream. Na overall? Overall. Ai, ukumbuke aje unakosa aje kukumbuka. Ama mlitoka bila results ama zinatuma direct. Na tunapewa report kuna pepo na umesha. Eh? Acha kudanganya. Mimi mimi nakumbuka position yangu ya mwisho shule. Wewe utashawa aje na ni juzi. Hata miezi mbili ijaisha. Uliipata maks ngapi? Nilipata B minor. B minor. Mm, sawa tia BD. Eh fomu fomu karibu imefika. Soma upite mtihani, si ndio? Mm. Mm, sawa sawa. Haya hapo ndio mwisho wa video. Tuanane next.